So here, using ratio to divide segments proportionally. If your segments are vertical or horizontal, you can just count the length so it's easy. But if it's diagonal like EF, then you have to look at its vertical and horizontal distance. So let's start from number one. What is the ratio of AX? AX to XB. Count it, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's six to six ratio. Simplified ratio. One, it's one to one. You have to always give me the simplify ratio. It's one to one. You can divide by six, by six, right? What about CY to YD? And please be very careful when you read these letters, okay? CY is this, two, YD, which is three. And what's CY? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it is 12 to 3. Is that the simplified ratio? No. It will be 4 to 1. And what do you do? You just divide by its common factors. 12 and 3. 3 goes into 12 and 3. So you divide by 3 from 12. 4. 3 divided by 3 is 1. You can also use your calculator to do this. So, I mean, 12 divided by 3 is 4, which is 4 over 1, right? You can put 1 under any whole number. If it's, for example, if you have 12 to 10, what would be the simplify ratio? What you can do is plug it in, 12 divided by 10, and it, when it gives you a decimal, hit math, fraction, 2 fraction, enter, enter. So it's 6 to 5. You can also use your calculator if you have a hard time simplifying the ratios, okay? So this is 6 to 5. This was just an example. What is the ratio of EZ and ZF? Where is EZ? Oh, this one. Can we just go diagonally and count it? Most likely not. This one, it's going through exact box, the corners, but most of times it won't do that. So what you need to do is you have to look at either vertical distance or horizontal versus this vertical distance to the horizontal distance. So what is the vertical distance from E to Z? Three, horizontal distance. So it doesn't matter which one you use, it's the same, right? The ratio is one to one. What about Z to F? How much did it go down? Six, eight, nine. And this is also? Nine. So you just got to choose one, either vertical or horizontal. But this time, it happens to be the same, so it doesn't really matter. So what's the ratio? Three to nine, which is one, two, three. Simplify. Okay. <laughs> now, you're going to put this point in the middle. Number four. Find a point B on AC, AC, horizontal, verticals are usually easy one. Such the ratio of AB, AB to BC is one to two. If it's splitting the ratio one to two, what's the total portion? Three. One plus two is three, right? So you're dividing into one and two, right? So the total portion will be three, right? So keep that in mind and count what the total length is. It's from negative 10 to five, so it is 15. Any questions? So now, we are dividing 15 into how many portions? Three. So what is 15 divided by three? Five, so each portion is five. So what is, it's one to two, right? What's one of five? Five. What is two of five? 10. One five is five, two fives. Two times five is 10. 
And when you add these two, do you get 15, the total length? Yes. So it is 5 to 10 for the length. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's your B. So this is 5, and this must be 10. 1, 2, 2. Number five, find a point M where on XK such that the ratio to XM, somewhere in the M, somewhere here, right? That is two, but what is five? Is the rest of it five? It says XK is five. What is XK? The whole thing. They're not going to always give you portion to portion. It could be portion to the whole thing. So what's the total portion, guys? Five. Do you see it? It says XK. The whole thing is five. So what's the whole portion? Five. Now, what do you do? You look at the, since it's diagonal, you have to look at the vertical or horizontal distance. 1 to negative 9, it's 10. Negative 3 to 7, oh, it's 10 again. So either one is divisible by 5, so it doesn't matter which one you choose. So what is 10 divided by 5, the whole thing? 2. So each portion is length of 2. So what is 2 of 2? 4. What's 5 of 2? 10. That's the whole thing. So where would your M be? 4 units down, right? From X. M is 4 units down from X. So you go down this way. 1, 2, 3, 4. So here is your M. So you see how this is? 4, 2, the whole thing 10, which is 2 to 5, 4 to 10. So you have to read the letters very carefully. This one, we have to add it because it was portion to portion, the rest of the portion. Here, 2 was the portion, but 5 was the whole thing. You don't add it. 5 was the whole thing. What about 6? R, B is a vertical line. R, B, that's... What? 0 to negative 8. So the length is 8. Such that the ratio RY, YB is 1, 2, 3. Is that the portions or the whole thing? RY somewhere and Y to B. So these are portions, so we have to add them. So 1 plus 3 is 4. So the total portion that we are going to divide the whole segment to is 4. So what was the whole length? 8. Now you divide in 2, 4, which gives you 2. So what is 1 of 2? 2. What's 3 of 2? 6. So it will be 2 to 6. So where's 2 down? From B or R. Oh, wait, wait, wait. See? Always read it carefully. R, Y is 2. So do I start from B or R? R. So I get 2 through 4. So this is your Y. So how do you write it? Y is Y coordinate negative 9 comma negative 6. And where was M? We forgot to write the coordinate. M was at 2 comma, no, 1 comma negative 3. 1 comma negative 3, your solution. And B was at negative 5, 10. Try next page. And we will go over it together. Plot point B. On AC such that the ratio of length AB to BC is 1 to 2. So guys, AB to BC is 1 to 2 means the whole thing is 
three, right? It's not the whole thing. It's portions, so you add them. So where's AC? So we have to look at either horizontal or vertical distance. So this is 1 to 10, so that's 9. So this is negative 10 to 2, 12. Which one do you want to use? If I were you, I'll use the one that is divisible by 3, but they're both divisible by 3, right? So it doesn't matter. Which one? Let's do 9. So what is 9 divided by 3? 3. three. So each portion, will the length of each portion will be 3. So it's 1 to 2. What's 1 of 3? What's 2 of 3? 6. So it will be 3 to 6 from A. So it's 1 to 3. So then here, find the point that's on the AC with the same height. So that's 3. That is 6. So this is your B. So your B is at negative 6, comma, 7. No. 3 times 2. 3 times 1, 3. Let's try it one more. Hopefully, we'll get to you. So, plot point E on DF. E on DF, that the length of DE, EF is 1 to 1. So, there are portions, right? DE, EF, it's 1 to 1, so it's right in the middle. So, what's 1 plus 1? Isn't it 2? So, here, this goes up to 3. This runs... Uh, 10 to negative, negative 10 to negative 1, so 9. So none of them are divisible by 2, but we can work with decimals, right? So let's use horizontal distance this time. So what is 9 over 2? 4.5. So what's 1 of 4.5? What's 1 of 4.5? 4.5. So basically, you divide 9 by 2 to make it 1 to 1. So then... You have from, doesn't really matter because it's in the middle, but start from wherever they set. So D, so here, one, two, three, four, and half. Right? One, two, three, four, and half. So that is your E, where your E is at negative 5.5, comma, negative 5, again, 5.5. Okay. Last one. Plot H on GJ such that the ratio length of GH to GJ is 2 to 5. So it's the whole portion 7? No. The whole thing GJ was what? 5. You see? It's not, it's not 2 to 5. They said it's 2 to... What? The whole thing is 5. Do you guys see the difference? So, the whole thing is 5. So, where's G, J? So, here, let's look at the horizontal or vertical. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That's divisible by 5, so we can use that. Or here's 10 to 15, which is also divisible by 5. So, which one? Doesn't really matter, right? Let's do 15. So what is 15 divided by 5? 3. So what is 2 of 3? 6. What's 3 of 5? 15. So it's 6 of the whole thing, 15. So where do we start? We start from G. G. So we use the 15. So we start from here, right? This is where your G, height of G is. You go up. Six, two, four, four, six. Where is the point? It's right here, right? This is H, not that. So it should be this height, and that six to nine. So H is two to negative four.